Siobhan O'Laughlin is a New York-based artist who transformed the real-life experience of being hit on her bike into Broken Bone Bathtub, a one-woman show that she performs in residential bathtubs around the world. I interviewed Siobhan during her Seattle run in a beautiful Japanese-style tub on the top of Queen Anne Hill. All right, well, this is going to be the best interview I've ever done in my life. By oh, far! I'm so it's glad. just perfect. I love the temperature <laughs> of the water. You do. <laughs> I'm very happy. I'm very happy. That's you. That's great. Well, okay, so um, a broken bone bathtub, it, it came out of a accident in what year? 2014. 2014. And what happened? You were on your bike. Yes, yeah, so it was the fall of 2014, so it was October. I was riding my bike at night in the rain. And uh, I had a um, head-on collision with another cyclist at probably the biggest traffic circle in uh, in Grand Army Plaza in this part of Brooklyn that oh, I was at. Oh my God! So what what happened then? I mean, you're on the ground. Yeah. Uh, what I did was I pulled my my glove off of my hand, mm -hmm. uh, and I looked at at my. Hand. Super disfigured hand. So basically, these fingers are were like in zigzags, and I had a dent in my palm where the bones were coming through the oh other side. God. So there was, uh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> so, so that now that that happened, you go to the hospital. Yeah, you got things taken care of. Yeah. Then you go home, and at what point did you realize um, I can't? And you have a cast. I cannot take a shower. Right. And a technician told me to take a shower with a plastic bag, mm -hmm. which I never did. I was like, I'm absolutely not going to take a shower. Like, that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So I decided that I would take a bath, but living in this Bushwick loft that I, that I was living in, a bath was not an option. Right. So? So, you know, friends ask what they, what can they do? Yeah. Eventually I was like, you know what? Actually, if you have a bathtub, I'd love to come over and use your bath mm -hmm. because I don't have one and I don't, I'm afraid of bathing in the shower. Right. And then so your friends then help you. Uh, yes. And, and what did that do to your friendship or how did that affect your relationships with your friends? Um, so it was awesome. I was going to um, uh, different friends' homes and different friends did different things. Like my friend Eric in Brooklyn, like he gave me, he like he's like, I washed my favorite bathrobe and I bought you this new bubble bath. And my friend Nefri was like, she set, she like made the bath for me and she laid out like wine and chocolate. People were so amazing and, and generous and happy to have me, mm -hmm. which was something that um, felt really good because I think that when uh, you're experiencing a lot of pain, mm -hmm. uh, you get really, or for me at least, I get really insular. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know how to, what I need is like community, what I need is people to be there for me, but, I, but it's really hard to, to Ask, reach. Right? Yeah. Yes. Asking yeah. for help is not something that's naturally something we like to do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you, you've had this intense physical experience. Yeah. It, how did it become a one-woman show? What, how did that happen? So I was borrowing friends' bathtubs, mm -hmm. and I was with my friend uh, Michael Dale, who's a theater critic, um, and we were, we were hanging out in the theater district, and I had just come from a friend's house, and he was like, oh, this is, this is like you're doing a bathtub tour. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I would like to do a bathtub. Like, maybe that's something I should try to do because I love, like, home theater and, and performances in, in people's mm -hmm. homes and small spaces. Intimates it's like that. Yeah, so I went through my um, journal, and I, which is, you know, a scary place sometimes yes. for me. Uh, so I was, like, looking through it, and I, and I sort of was trying to piece together a narrative or what were the things, what were the things that I wrote that meant something or were significant to me in a way that perhaps I could perform. Because I'm a storyteller and right. I'm a monologuist. So I put them together into a script that I had originally intended to be 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, but then the first time I did it, the audience was so involved that we just it just made more sense to start talking to them. Did you, did you look when they snapped you? Did they snap you? They did snap me. Oh, and wow. I can't oh, remember, no. actually. I don't think I did. You blocked mm -hmm. it out. Yeah. You, maybe, yeah. You, maybe you, like, maybe you like looked away. I think I did a turn away. Yeah. So you, you're performing in, in Bath rooms and bathtubs around the globe. Uh, what's that like? I mean, you're naked. Not right now you're not naked, right? But not. You're, right, <laughs> you're, you are, yeah. and, you have, and you're just a thin veneer of bubbles. What I like most about it is that it forces intimacy. Mm -hmm. So uh, people are kind of shoved into a room together. Um, sometimes their knees are touching. Oftentimes they are. They're sitting on tiny little stools. Mm -hmm. Their legs might be up against the tub where I am also right there. right there. So we're all really, really close. And I think, um, I think that 
that helps create um, a, a space for people where we're able to be more open because it's very much a it's an it's an immersive it's an interactive experience mm -hmm. so um, I treat them as if they were my friends like when my friends were helping me with the bath and I was telling them about what happened to me and she says are you nervous and I say no and she says I'm nervous and I'm like what? <laughs> So you're three years in to doing it? Yeah. 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 How, yeah. Many, how many countries? Five. Five countries? Yeah. How has it changed you? Or are you different? I think um, that I am more uh, in touch with myself mm -hmm. <laughs> in a way um, and understanding my, um, my pain and my struggles and I think like people sometimes will often say like oh you're really you're really brave because you're like naked in front of all these people but I'm actually like deeply insecure and have like a lot of you know fear about how people will see me mm -hmm. you know when I'm like oh if like the bubbles go down and then they'll like think I'm whatever you know mm -hmm. I, I, I struggle with that um, and so I think that it has um, I've been able to prove to myself that I'm able to challenge myself mm -hmm. um, but also um, more than that it's changed me in terms of wanting to connect with people through our sadness and our struggle, um, which I think was something that I was ashamed of before. Mm -hmm. And I feel more confident talking about that now because I have met people who have been that bridge for me through doing, through doing this, mm -hmm. this, this project. Mm -hmm. so. uh, let's uh, cheers to turning suffering into art. Mm, right? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, thank you so much for talking with me. You, are you a bath person? Yes. You love it? Yes. Yeah.